Breaking news out of Missouri. Four-day operation complete. Kansas City, Missouri. Federal officers with U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement's ICE, Enforcement and Removal Operations ERO, arrested 20 criminal aliens and immigration violators in the Kansas City metro area during a four-day enforcement operation, which ended Thursday. During this operation, ERO deportation officers made arrests in the following Missouri cities, St. Joseph, 6, Belton, 1, Blue Springs, 1, Independence, 2, and Kansas City, 6. ICE officers also made arrests in the Kansas cities of Olathe, 3, and Lawrence, 1. Fifteen men and five women, ages ranging 1861, were arrested. Aliens arrested during this operation are from the following countries, Brazil, 1, El Salvador, 3, Guatemala, 6, Honduras, 1, Mexico, 7, Romania, 1, and Sierra Leone, 1. Several of the aliens targeted by Euro deportation officers during this operation had prior criminal histories that included driving under the influence, child neglect, child abuse, drug offenses, fraud and larceny. Four of these were arrested for legally re-entering the United States after having been deported, which is a felony. To overstate lawful visits to the U.S. All were amenable to arrest and removal under the U.S. Immigration and Nationality Act. The following are criminal summaries of some of the offenders arrested in the Kansas City area during this operation. A 55-year-old, Mexican citizen who overstayed a lawful visit to the U.S. by more than 12 years. She was arrested February 26, 2018 in Johnson County, Kansas. She was previously convicted of child neglect and was sentenced to a year in jail. She is currently in ICE custody pending removal proceedings. On February 28, 2018, a 38-year-old Mexican citizen was arrested in Olathe, Kansas. He has a 2012 conviction for fraud. He was issued a warrant of removal and was placed in ICE custody pending removal from the United States. Depending on an alien's criminality, an alien who re-enters the United States after having been previously deported commits a felony punishable by up to 20 years in federal prison, if convicted. The continued results of our deportation officers underscore ICE's ongoing and steady commitment to public safety, said Ricardo Wong, field office director for Euro Chicago. As part of this operation, we continue to focus on the arrest of individuals who are criminal aliens and public safety threats. Because of the tireless efforts of these professional officers, there are fewer criminals in our communities. ICE deportation officers carry out targeted enforcement operations daily nationwide as part of the agency's ongoing efforts to protect the nation, uphold public safety, and protect the integrity of our immigration laws and border controls. These operations involve existing and established fugitive operations teams. During the targeted enforcement operations, ICE officers frequently encounter other aliens illegally present in the United States. These aliens are evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis, and, when appropriate, they are arrested by ICE officers.